This video is closed captioned in English and Spanish subtitles. Top 10 best things to do in New York City. New York City is one of the busiest cities in the U.S. and one of the most fun cities to visit. So, is it a fun place to visit? Yes. Is it affordable? Not really. But in this video, we will talk about the top 10 places you can visit in New York City where you can enjoy yourself for minimal to no money at all. Hello, travelers. Welcome, everybody. This is Anthony, also known as the Travel Droner. Here on this channel, we create videos discussing amazing travel facts and amazing destinations. Join us on our journey around the world by subscribing to our channel. Please check the bell icon to get notified when we publish a new video. In today's video, we are going to talk about the top 10 cheap or free things to do in New York City. Number 10. Central Park. New York City has many parks, but Central Park is the most famous and most visited park in the whole city. You can either walk, ride a bicycle, or have a carriage ride through the crisscross path of the park. If you are a skating fan, you can glide across the Woolman Rink. Central Park is a half mile in width and 2.5 miles in length. Apart from being a terrific spot to get some fresh air, Central Park boasts many attractions within its premises, most of which are free for the public, making it one of the few affordable things to do in New New York City, which is one of the most expensive cities to live in, not only in the U.S., but in the whole world. The Belvedere Castle, Strawberry Fields, Central Park Zoo, and the lake are among the best places to visit. If you're going to explore the park on your own, get a map from one of the visitor centers. Number 9. Times Square Times Square is beautifully lit with massive billboards and screens, and it is crowded with busy pedestrians. The atmosphere of this place is so electrifying and lively that many travelers dream of visiting Times Square at least once in their lives. Besides busy pedestrians, you can also find fantastic street artists displaying their talent in front of thousands of walking pedestrians. This place is filled with excitement no matter what time of the day you visit it. New York New Year's Eve celebrations take place here, including the iconic ball drop at midnight when the square and surrounding streets are packed with people. Times Square is bustling and always crowded, yet it has its own distinct appeal. Long Acre Square was renamed Times Square in 1904 after the New York Times Tower. In 1928, the newspaper became the first in the world to display current headlines on a moving sign. Number 8. Grand Central Terminal Now, you might be wondering, what's so special about a train station? Well, this train station is probably the most beautiful and iconic in the whole world. It is one of the busiest stations as well. Take a few photos of the ornate Beau Arts non-classical architecture outside before entering. That'll make for some great addition to your travel gallery. Shimmering marble floors, gold and nickel-plated chandeliers, and a sky-themed ceiling greet you inside the famous main concourse. There are some nice eateries as well, some of which are relatively new and others that are popular. There are many mainstream fast food restaurants here as well. This place also has numerous shops, so you can shop while waiting for your train. However, most visitors recommend not buying most of Grand Central's products in the shops because things are really expensive over here. Visit the New York Transit Museum store instead in the shuttle tunnel if you want a train-themed souvenir. Number 7. New York Public Library Now, some of you might be wondering, hey, we are going to New York City to have some fun. Why does this list mention a library? Well, this place is for my audience who love to be around books rather than being around people. And this library has one of the biggest book collections in the world. It is quite a famous location as well and has been featured in many movies and TV shows. The main branch of the New York Public Library was designed in the Beaux Arts style by architects Carrer and Hastings. Stephen A. Schwartzman Building is the official name of the main branch of the New York Public Library. It opened to immediate acclaim in 1911. The main reading room alone takes up two city blocks, while the periodicals room contains 10,000 current magazines. The book collection is massive. Number 6. Empire State Building Even though the Empire State Building does not rank very high in the list of the tallest buildings in the world as the One World Trade Center has topped it, the Empire State Building is still one of the most iconic buildings in the U.S., especially because it was built back in 1931. The building is 381 meters tall and has 102 floors. It held the title for being the tallest building in the world for 41 years. When it first opened in 1931, the Empire State Building became a landmark and a symbol for New York City. The Empire State Building has two observatories, both of which offer spectacular views. When the sky is clear, you can see up to 80 miles into New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, and Massachusetts, which are all neighboring states. The city's highest open-air observation deck, the 86th Floor Observatory, 
which is at the height of 1,050 feet, is what most visitors expect to see when they visit the Empire State Building. It might look familiar to you, and it's because this area has been featured in several films and television shows. The Empire State Building is often crowded with visitors, and the line moves slowly, really slowly during peak hours. So plan your trip accordingly. Number five, Fifth Avenue. Now, if you are visiting a city, you will want to do a lot of shopping, especially if you are a woman. For that, you can head to Fifth Avenue, which is one of the most famous shopping streets in the U.S. Fifth Avenue is New York's premier shopping area having flagship stores of some of the biggest brands in the world, from Cartier to Tiffany. They are many unique shops to shop from. You can also find the famous Fifth Avenue Apple Store here, which gets crowded when a new iPhone gets launched. You can see people lining up from as early as midnight to be the first ones to buy the latest iPhone. This is a posh place to visit, and even if you are not coming here for shopping, you will have a great time roaming around. Stopping by at restaurants to eat food and, well, window shopping. Best places for shopping can be found between 60th Street and 40th Street, which runs from the south end of Central Park to the New York Public Library. Number four, Broadway and the Theater District. New York is known for its amazing nightlife, and the best place to witness that is Broadway. Attending a Broadway show is a very common thing for locals and visitors, and it's a fun experience. It's considered the pinnacle of American theater, and you can see long-running classics and some new releases as well. The term Broadway theater is commonly used to refer to a large number of theaters throughout the theater district and along Broadway itself. Tickets for the most popular concerts should be booked in advance. Schubert Alley is a famous pedestrian-only alley in the theater district that features two famous playhouses, the Schubert on 221 West 44th Street and the Booth on 22 West 45th Street. Historically, young actors would flock to Schubert Alley in search of roles and plays sponsored by theater mogul Sam S. Schubert. The Schubert Theater hosted a record-breaking 6,137 performances of a chorus line. Number three, One World Observatory. The One World Trade Center building was recently constructed, and on top of the skyscraper, you can find the One World Observatory at the 100, 101, and 102 floors. It is an observation deck where you can view the busy city of New York from 1,776 feet above the city. The trip to the top in the elevator is delightful while it lasts. As you rise, the surrounding panels portray New York as it has evolved from a rural area to a modern metropolitan city. This glass structure visible from all around the city is a -a one-of-a-kind structure on the Manhattan skyline with angles that give it a distinctive look. The tower seems pyramidal if you stand near the base and stare straight up. To go up and witness the whole view, you can purchase a New York City One World Observatory Skip the Line ticket to save time, but keep in mind that you will still have to pass through security. Number 2. Wall Street You might have seen the movie Wolf of Wall Street, and if you are familiar with the world of finance, you might know about Wall Street. Many consider it the world's financial capital and the most important stock exchange in the world. The world-famous Wall Street spans eight city blocks from Broadway to South Street. Some of the world's most influential exchanges are located on this street and in the nearby vicinity, including the New York Stock Exchange, the NASDAQ, and the New York Mercantile Exchange. The stunning Trinity Church and Federal Hall are also easily accessible. On Broadway, look for the bronze figure of the Charging Bull in Bowling Green. This is a great photo spot for visitors and one of the most famous tourist attractions in the financial district. Number one, Statue of Liberty. America's most iconic monument, the Statue of Liberty, is in New York City. And visiting the Statue of Liberty is one of the first things that visitors plan the minute they arrive in New York City. The statue was gifted to America by France. It is a global symbol of freedom and one of America's greatest attractions. Having been built in 1886, the Statue of Liberty is just under 305 feet tall from base to torch and weighs around 450,000 pounds, making it one of the world's tallest statues. The statue can be seen from land, and you can get great views of the statue from Battery Park on Manhattan's Southern Point. To properly appreciate the Statue of Liberty, though, taking a short boat ride to Liberty Island and seeing it up close is the best idea. That's all for today. Hope you liked this video, and if you did, press the like button. If you think that we missed out on some other important places in this video, tell us about that in the comments section. Also, if you are new to this channel and haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and press the bell icon for regular updates. Till then, see ya.